Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, not so loud. It's nice to meet you. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work, and that means he might not be familiar with all of our custom. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. Hey there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? <sighs> hmm? I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? All right.
How was your first day after transferring? I hope you like it here, Mochizuki-kun. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun, sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see... Right, could you come along too? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Why? Well, you happen to be around. I think the boxes are packed full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, d Mr. Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected. But the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though... You are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like, baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I notice you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Great! Here goes. if I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet, so I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Likewise. Mm, thanks. Somehow, it already feels like we've known each other for a long time. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right! I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with.
mandatory. Morning. I was gonna wait to tell you this until we sit down to eat, but I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emiru. So this'll be the last time we have ramen together. Emiri? Who's that she's with? I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. He's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He should be grateful. Seems like he's the one who spread the rumors, and now other students are. Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emiri. So, I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I... I... It's fine, I'm okay. Thanks though, man. It's not Emery's fault anyway. I screwed things up, not her. Why, Emery? Why? My nose is running. Thanks. If you were here, I'd...
welcome back. I speculate. Flowers. What the heck, dude? What's your deal? Or is this like a crush thing? Because this is too much love to handle. Don't bother denying it. And if it weren't true, it'd be even weirder. Damn it. You really backed me into a corner here. I can't just not go now after all this. But, well, thanks. Guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet. Party ended up being at my place. I was out buying stuff that might be useful for running practice, and I ran out of money. <sighs> Thanks. I could have taken stuff from our school storage, but I knew the sizes would be slightly off. It was a lot of hard work, but I'm glad we decided to coach those kids in the end. What do you think? 
Um, sorry. It's just... I never noticed how long your eyelashes are. I don't think I've looked at you this closely before. It's only the two of us here now. Uh, how about we change the subject? Hmm. Oh, do you like children? Hmm, I see. Well, those kids said they like you, you know. I think there's something about you that draws people in. I mean, even I. Uh, I, I mean, <laughs> never mind. Let's see. Let's say you get married and have a kid. Would you want it to be a boy or a girl? I see. Boy, huh? Boys have so much energy that they can be a handful, but I'm sure they make a house more lively. Either way, I would just hope that the baby didn't take after me. You could say I'm a little rough around the edges, but if they took after you, I'm sure they'd be super cute. They'd probably be athletic too. I wonder if they'll take an interest in sports. By the way, do you look more like your dad or your mom? I've been told that I'm the spitting image of my dad. Not that I mind, but I do have mixed feelings about it. I mean, we don't look that much alike, right? My eyebrows aren't as bushy for one. to upgrade my outer appearance. First, I will triple the current surface area of my armor plating. After that, I will repaint my body gold and add a large dragon to my back. After reading this book, I came to a conclusion. This is what I have to do to appear strong and encourage people to depend on me. Outer appearances carry an influence that is beyond my ability to calculate. The main character of this story also carefully cultivated his image so everyone would take him seriously. That is why I'm looking into upgrading myself. In order for me to become more dependable, it's necessary I change my appearance. Don't you agree? Are you saying there's something else which takes greater priority? Oh, could it be? I apologize. Please forget what I said about upgrading my appearance. It seems I had the completely wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says, Can't have people think I ain't cool. Until then, he'd put so much effort into his attire, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. Thanks to you, I finally understand. What's most important in life is having a strong heart to stay true to your beliefs. Therefore, I will also follow what I believe in. I may not appear dependable, but don't worry. I will adjust my attitude to reach maximum energy output and to increase my ammo stocks by 50%.
for some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Shall we conduct a raid? Oh, it's gotten so late. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to go tonight. How unfortunate. I'll just return to my room then. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem, then. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Qu quit messing with us! Give me your phone. I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. Who the hell are you? Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. Is that what you call it? That wasn't really my intention. All right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. 
What a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Wow, that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with junpei -kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. morning. Another day, another bowl of ramen. Damn, this really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? <sighs> Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. That egg's all I got in this world, man. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. Really? 
Who? Someone from your dorm? Sounds like I should be making more surprise visits. Ah, no, 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 no. I I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. But on top of that, I felt really dumb. Did I really love Emmy Re? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is you're a true friend. Damn it, why do I say such embarrassing things? God, I'm such a dumbass. Anyway, here, take this. I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of, uh, so I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? It's a symbol of our friendship. up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. this at the store when I said I was looking for a movie with a cool, hard-boiled main character. But so far, he just seems like a reckless old man to me. He even fell for that woman's lies. Do people really think this guy is cool? Oh, that's right. We are only halfway through the movie. <gasps> He's surrounded by gangsters again! lie the whole time, and he was just pretending to be tricked. His signature phrase was so good, too. You can't be a detective without smarts, and you've got no right being a detective without a heart. <gasps> Looks like this movie is part of a series! Let's watch the other ones together when you have time.
student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip? Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I lost my dad, too. And I know what that's like. Talk about... So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji-kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, odagiri Kuhn. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! By the way.
think I know now. I'm gonna go with Mom. She can't cook or clean or do anything on her own. So I'm gonna be there to help her. I think Dad's gonna be okay by himself. He can get along fine without me. So... Um... Mom and I are gonna move away soon. <gasps> hey, even if I'm gone, we'll still be friends, right? Mm -hmm. Friends forever. Ever and ever and ever, okay? You can't forget about me. Never, ever, okay? I gotta get ready to move. So I have to go home. again. Um, next week is the school trip, isn't it? And first years don't get to go. Yeah, it's a shame. I like Kyoto, but moreover, I would have liked to go with you. I mean, never mind. You'll be staying behind as well, won't you, Koromaru-kun? Um, if you don't mind, I'd love to hear how the trip was once you return. I'll be looking forward to it. less damage from tests than the data in my prediction suggests. We haven't taken any specific measures against them. What is the cause of this? Oh, look! 
Look, I've sighted a ladybug larva. No, we mustn't. Ladybugs are the natural predators of pests that damage plants. This must be the reason why they've been growing so well. Even in just these tiny planters, there is so much life. There's no one to teach them. They're just doing the best they can. Hmm. My apology. Excuse me. The tests deserve no mercy. Status reads all green. No problems to report. That concludes our mission for today. We should head back now. far away we're still family so I don't have to be sad family is special you think I'll have a family of my own one day yeah you're right I hope so um when I'm all grown up can we get married Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> Don't be so shy. Well, bye bye. Yes. <laughs> 